There are urban legends surrounding every walk of life, and the world of movies is no different. Some have been rebuffed, like the supposed ghost child on the set of Three Men and a Baby turning out to be a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson, but others, however, still remain a mystery. In some cases, mysterious events happening on and around movie sets have led people to believe that the sets in question were actually cursed. Strange occurrences, freak accidents, and even in some cases the deaths of crew and cast members have resulted in such conclusions. It's often a tragic topic, but it's certainly an interesting one, and it's what this video is all about. Here are 10 movies with shockingly cursed sets. The Passion of the Christ Movies that deal with religion are notorious for having cursed sets and none dealt with the subject more controversially than Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ. It was actually the movie's star Jim Caviezel who played Jesus that suffered the supposed curse most severely in this case. Caviezel was struck by lightning during filming, as was assistant director Jan Michelini on two occasions. But Caviezel also obtained lacerations during whipping scenes, dislocated his shoulder while performing the crucifixion scenes, suffered from hypothermia, and contrary contracted both a lung infection and pneumonia. He also suffered painful skin infections from the makeup that was used to depict his gruesome injuries in the movie. Poor guy. Poltergeist 1982's Poltergeist was notorious for its supposedly cursed set. Some people believe that the Poltergeist cursed was caused by the fact that real skeletons were used during filming. Regardless of what caused it, there's no doubt that the events surrounding the movie, and indeed the entire franchise, were both creepy and absolutely tragic. In the six-year period between the three films, cast members claimed to be haunted by ghosts in their own homes, and four of the main actors died. Most famously and tragically, young Heather O'Rourke died four four months before the third film was released thanks to a botched operation. Additionally, Dominic Dunn was murdered by her boyfriend soon after the first film was released. Julian Beck died of stomach cancer while filming the second film, and Will Sampson died soon after filming it due to kidney transplant complications. And remember that creepy clown toy in the first movie? Because of a malfunction in the prop's mechanics, it really did choke young actor Oliver Robbins, though he did survive the incident. Rosemary's Baby Rosemary's Baby is one of the most disturbing and iconic horror movies of all time, and a supposed curse on the movie's set led to some horrific things happening to the cast and crew. The movie's producer was even quoted as saying, The story of Rosemary's Baby was happening in real life. Witches, all of them were casting their spell, and I was becoming one of the principal players. Director Roman Polanski's pregnant wife Sharon Tate was murdered by Charles Manson's clan a year after the movie's release. The murder scene was one of the most sickening ever witnessed. Producer William Castle suffered from sudden kidney failure after receiving hate mail about the film. And finally, the film's composer Christoph Kometa died of a sudden blood clot on his brain, something that was eerily reminiscent of a character in the movie itself. The Exorcist Given the subject matter of the controversial 1973 movie The Exorcist, is it any wonder that the movie's set was said to be cursed? Not only did strange and terrible things happen to the movie's cast and crew, but even audiences were affected by the supposed curse. Where do we even start here? Well, the movie's set inexplicably burned down and delayed filming for six weeks. Star Ellen Bernstein hurt her back and missed weeks of filming while bedbound. Actor Jack McGrowan died suddenly just one week after he finished filming his role in the movie. Half of the crew were struck down with sunstroke or dysentery while filming on location in Iraq. A night watchman and a special effects expert died during the making of the film, and ultimately things got so bad that the director recruited a priest to exercise the set. During screenings of the movie, viewers blacked out, vomited, had heart attacks, and one woman even miscarried. The Amityville Horror The Amityville Horror is supposedly a true story, and the original movie based on it, which was made in 1979, spawned a number of sequels and a 2005 remake. It was the sets of the original and its aforementioned reboot that were supposedly cursed. The star of the original, James Brolin, wasn't overly keen on the idea of starring in the movie and only accepted the role after a strange event occurred. He was reading the script in the early hours of the morning when a pair of his pants suddenly fell off a hanger, causing him to leap out of his chair in terror. Years later, just just before filming was due to start on the 2005 remake, a dead body washed up on shore near the movie's set. Ryan Reynolds, who starred in the remake, has claimed that members of the crew kept waking up at a quarter past three each morning while filming. This was also the time that the real murders that influenced the story took place. 
Twilight Zone the Movie In 1983, a movie based on the Twilight Zone television series was released. It was in anthology form, with John Landis, Steven Spielberg, and George Miller each directing a different segment, and the movie was believed to be cursed. In one scene involving a helicopter, a nearby air mortar blew off the chopper's tail. It crashed into the river below, severing the heads of one of the movie's stars, Victor Moro, and a Vietnamese child actor called Mika Din Lee. It also crushed another Vietnamese child actor named Rene Shin Yi Chen to death. Both of the children had been hired illegally by the producers. Eerily, the film's concept artist had included a burnt-out helicopter in the middle of a river in one of his sketches, foreshadowing the details of the accident. Even more eerie, a year before his death, Victor Moro had taken out a $5 million life insurance policy after having a premonition that he would die in a helicopter crash. The Crow 1994's The Crow is one of the most underrated superhero movies of all time. People forget just how good it was, given how low-key it was in comparison to the superhero movies of today. But the number of horror incidents on its set would suggest that the movie was cursed. The first day of filming set the tone when a crew member's crane ran into a power cable, resulting in him suffering burns on 90% of his body. After that, a construction driver drove a screwdriver through his own hand, a set sculptor destroyed the props room with his car, and a storm destroyed most of the set itself. Of course, the most tragic occurrence was the death of the movie's star. Brandon Lee was shot dead by accident during filming. Rather spookily, the event mirrored a scene from his father Bruce's movie Game of Death, in which an actor is shot dead when gangsters replace a prop bullet with a real one. Bruce would die before completing that movie. The Wizard of Oz The Wizard of Oz was released in 1939, long before safety regulations even existed on movie sets, let alone before they were anywhere near as strict as they are today. So the accidents that happened on the movie set could be put down to that, but there were indeed quite a few accidents, and many believe that they must have occurred due to the set being cursed. The original Tin Man, Buddy Ebsen, was almost killed by an allergic reaction to the aluminum powder used for his makeup, resulting in him being replaced by Jack Haley. Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch, caught on fire and refused to perform any more pyrotechnic scenes thereafter. And the little dog who played Toto broke a paw. However, that strange thing appearing to swing around in the background of one scene wasn't a munchkin actor who hung himself, as some people suggested. It was merely a bird. The Omen The Omen is another horror movie that dealt with religion as a theme, an apparently surefire way to encourage weird things to happen to the people involved. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened during and after the filming of this classic. There was an animal handler on the movie set helping to organize the scene in which a baboon goes into a frenzy. He was killed by a tiger the day after that scene was filmed. Then, soon after the movie was released, the special effects director was involved in a car crash that tragically killed his girlfriend. She was decapitated in an eerily simple similar way to one of the characters in the film. Even more bizarre was the fact that a sign by the wreckage supposedly read Omen 66 kilometers. But the absolute creepiest thing about the accident was that it happened on Friday the 13th of August 1976. It's enough to send a shudder down your spine. The Matrix Most of the movies on this list are from the horror genre, which often makes the fact that the sets were cursed even creepier. But that's not always the case. The Matrix is a sci-fi classic, but events that occurred during production led people to believe in something called the Curse of the Matrix. Two cast members, Aaliyah and Gloria Foster, died during filming, in a plane crash and from diabetes respectively. Keanu Reeves' real-life relationship broke down after the birth of his stillborn child during production. Reeves himself had to spend his own money to ensure production continued after mounting costs threatened to bring it to a halt. A number of the special effects houses commissioned to produce individual shots went bust, and that's not even everything, but we'd be talking all day if we tried to cover it all. Thanks for watching our video about shockingly cursed movie sets. Did you enjoy this video? Do you know of any other movie sets that were supposedly cursed? Have your say in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.